Spring Revival 2020, the COVID edition. My friend Bill and I are going to go back through the archives and uh, and see some of the great footage that we've had over the years, some of the great times, and the, the people that have been able to join us here over the years. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. And in my car, it's a little delightful. Here I am sitting outside the uh, church, uh, where Church Key Brewery is housed at the corner of County Road 38 and Crow River Road, Patrick's Corners, to be exact. And uh, it's not, a, not such a beautiful day today. And apparently, with the COVID going on out there, it's not going to be a great day for uh, the church, the annual Church Key Spring Revival, which is always a highlight of uh, the summer season of music. There's so many great musicians locally, um, and they've come, you know, from far and wide to come and play here. Uh, it's a great opportunity for smaller bands to uh, get a, a some stage experience, and the hosts were always so lovely. I had a great time playing with Sean and Chad and Jay LaValle. I played with Mike Tabaris here. I played with Andy Thompson and and um, Pat McTaggart. All, all sorts of great, great, great stuff. So let's hope that uh, next year that we have this thing beat and we can enjoy another great spring revival. Spring Revival is uh, an amazing time. Every year musicians get together, they come out of the woodwork, it's been a long winter and it's like the first real sign of spring. It's uh, it's great for Trent Hills residents and Camel Fordians in particular because it's everybody else's benchmark in the country is the May 2-4 or Victoria Day weekend, but uh, here it's Spring Revival. And it's a great opportunity for musicians who have been away all winter to come out and share their wares and people come and sit outside, have a pint, and uh, socialize outside. It's great. Spring Revival. Hi everyone, this is Cindy from Tuborg. How did we get our name? We had a gig coming up and we needed a name. Couldn't think of anything that really resonated with us. We happened to be drinking cans of Tuborg that day, so that was what we went with. So this is Wode and Mr. Grant and I singing one of the songs we sang at the revival a few years ago. Cheers! Church Key Spring Revival. What are my thoughts? Well, <laughs> going right back to the beginning, I guess the first thing I remember is that it was one of Scrap Metal's earliest gigs and how they rocked the Led Zeppelin and everybody loved it so much. I remember that as a beautiful sunny day, an almost perfect day. And that's just one of my first memories. Um, I'd like to speak about the times that uh, John supported the Booze in the Schools initiative that the Party for Pet group developed, and uh, that was very important to us. I think there was even a TV program about it on Kojiko, but we never got to see it because we're not on cable. Um, also played with Balls and Jane and Johnny and Jane and always, always enjoyed the day so much. The first spring outdoor concert. I mean, what could be better? Great beer, free food for the musicians, friends, families, music, so many great memories. Um, looking forward to getting back at it next year. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Don't 
better be on your merry way. started to fall um and that's not unheard of at spring revival we've had a few uh, great times dancing in the rain um i'm gonna do something right now i'm gonna open a bottle of beer seemingly uh easy task um but a couple of years uh in a row uh, uh, about five seven years ago i um i attempted a world record and the world record for opening these bottles with an opener is 110 in one minute and I, uh, I was able to uh, to get 108 one time and 106. Never broke the record uh, held by a fella down in uh, Blanco, Texas, um, named Benjamin Pollitt, Pollin, something like that. But anyway, um, so I was not able to do it, but there's one works. Hi, everyone. This is Janet from the Janet Jeffrey Band. Um, first of all, I want to just start off by saying I hope everyone has a happy healthy spring. Having said that, spring revival is right around the corner and it's going to be a little bit different this year. So I've been asked to talk about, you know, spring revival and, 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 you know, what I miss and stuff like that or what I've, what I've enjoyed. And I think the thing I've enjoyed the most is just getting to hear about people's winters because it seems to be the first big event out of winter time. And everyone gets together and shares their Christmas time stories and just what's going on in the last few months with them and just seeing all the musicians and the food and the beer. It's just a good time. Um, the other thing I remember the most, though, is, is, is rain. I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of rain, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. It's always been a good time, whether there's been rain, no rain, wind, no wind. Um, so anyways, going forward... Um, I guess this year we're going to be kind of doing a spring revival review, right? So looking back at all the musicians and the things that have happened and the charities that it's helped. And uh, yeah, so I think when I watch it, I will be just very thankful of the community that we live in. It's it's such a good community and caring community and lively community with a lot of music and talent and I think this year, um, when I watch it, yeah, I'll just, I'll just be thinking about how lucky I am to live here in Trent Hills. Anyways, I hope everyone has a, a great spring and hope to see you all soon. Bye. Hey there, this is Scott from Wicklow. If you don't know who Wicklow is, we are a cover band from the Northumberland area, primarily playing dance rock covers, the odd country song, and a bit of funk grass. I mean, if you don't know what funk grass is, essentially it's just funk music with a banjo. And you can see from our poster up here, we do have a banjo player. So we decided we were going to introduce this tune at Spring Revival. I believe this was about four years ago. And I remember that day very well. It was a beautiful early summer day in May. Uh, great music, great people, great atmosphere, great bands playing. It was packed that day. Uh, great beer, obviously, and great food. Uh, just an overall awesome experience. My first time being at Spring Revival. Um, so it's a memory I won't soon forget. And thankfully, we have a clip of this, and this is us playing our one of our first times playing this, this type of music. Uh, so we decided to cover Superstition by, by Stevie Wonder, funk grass style. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Sure. 
Hi, I'm Ian Davis. I play sax and I played at the Spring Revival probably oh, a dozen or so times since 2005. In fact, I think I was there for the very first Spring Revival just as a punter with my wife. Um, but then we played with other bands. We had Lowdown, really good blues band. That was Jay LaValle on bass, um, recently passed away. Chad Brooks on drums, uh, Sean McMillan on bass, Mick on harps and voice, and me on saxes again. So the latest version of the my usual band, which is now called Blindsided, is Mick and Peter. And then the current version, we have Chris Lingard on drums and John Stewart on bass, John Stewart often called Sturf. Who have we had in the past? We've had Dave Pappel playing with us, J.R. White's played with us, Les Cota's played with us. We've had Phil Smith, he was back in the Bad Poultry days, as was um, Jacob Charles. So yeah, over the years we've I've played a few times with all sorts of different characters. The chew I hate to lose. You know I do.